investigators admit they made the wrong decision to wait nearly an hour to confront the gunman that killed 21 people in an elementary school. Good evening, I'm David Earl. Officials laid out a new timeline today of the police response to Tuesday's mass shooting in Uvalde. They say the incident commander at the scene believed he was no longer dealing with an active shooter. That commander thought the gunman had barricaded himself inside and the children were no longer at risk. Texas authorities today revealed students trapped inside the school repeatedly called 911 pleading for help. The new timeline raises questions about how law enforcement responds to shootings like this. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McClune joins us live with the response from Nebraska's governor and the new effort to secure schools statewide. Alex. Yeah, David, Governor Pete Ricketts does not see the need to change Nebraska's gun laws. 18 year olds can buy assault style rifles here, just like the gunman in Texas did. And tonight, state education leaders say they're organizing a new task force to protect students and teachers. I think at the end of the day, the root cause we have to tackle is looking at those mental health issues, but there's going to be other things we can do as well. Despite 21 lives lost in Texas, Governor Ricketts says the answer to gun violence isn't gun control, but instead addressing mental health. And you saw in this past legislative session, we put millions of dollars more into addressing that issue. State lawmakers put millions into new facilities and student loan forgiveness to attract nurses and behavioral specialists. But State Senator Lynn Walls of Fremont called the Department of Education's commissioner on the night of the massacre, asking him to create a statewide school safety task force. And Matt Bloomstead says they're on it. We've already asked schools to do a lot at a local level. Uh, we've asked communities to do that particular work. But I don't know that we've done the work to really make sure that we have a statewide plan, that we help fill in voids or gaps where they may exist. By law, schools have safety plans to work with local law enforcement. The task force will review those preparedness practices and identify evidence-based strategies to protect students and staff. Bloomstead says the task force may introduce recommendations to lawmakers as soon as January. The reality is, um, we don't want to live on luck alone. We want to make sure we're doing everything possible to, to make a difference. The governor says it's a good thing that the Department of Education wants to suggest ideas, but Ricketts says every school is going to have to look at what they're doing. He adds the state needs the public's help to look for warning signs of people struggling with mental health.